What's up, everybody? Today, I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about pivot points and a couple ways that you can work with them. Let's talk about the old fashioned way, and then I'll show you the new way with the model toolkit. So first off, let's say we have this chair and we want the chair to fall backwards. So the pivot, we're definitely going to want to have it more on that back rail instead of where it is now. So what you could do a quick and easy way, potentially, but not permanent way to do this is alt middle mouse click on the point where you want to move the pivot point to. So it's a little based on where you happen to alt click. So say I want it right about there. I've turned off snapping so that makes it a little easier to get precise. Put it right about there. All right, so now my pivot is here. Now the catch with doing it this way is if I click away and then come back, my pivot is reset back to where it was to begin with. So let's try that again and make it a touch more permanent. So I'm going to alt click again on that back corner, double check it. Now, if I want that to be this object or this particular instance's new pivot point, then I would again, alt click, right click on the shape, go to pivot and then set as pivot offset. This is a value that you'll find down in your, if you type, and search for pivot, there's a pivot offset down in the actor settings. And that just set this value. If I set that back to zero, click away and come back, you'll see my pivot offset is now back to the beginning. If I come over here, alt click, it still says zero, 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 right click, pivot, set as pivot offset. You'll see that pushes those numbers into this field here. So that is a quick temporary way to do it per actor. If I come over to this chair over here, this chair has it back in its original position, which is fine if that's what you want to do. But let's say every single chair for the rest of my life, I want the pivot to be on the back here and I want it to be fairly precise and I want a little more control than just uh, middle mouse clicking. So what you can do is go to the select mode and go to modeling. And if you don't have that there, you're going to need to go add the plugin. So just go to plugins, type modeling. And you want to add the uh, modeling tools editor mode and restart if needed. Now with my chair here, I can come down to the uh, transform section. You'll see there's a button for pivot. Edit mesh pivots as the pop up help tells you. Click on that. And now you have some options. So here's my current pivot point. I can hand move my pivot point by dragging on the manipulator there. That's setting a new position. You can also rotate it. You can also use some of these bounding box options. Say you want to go straight to the top of the object. So that puts it based on the bounding box for the shape. Go to the center of an object. Maybe you're doing a door. So you want it on the, uh, you know, left side, or if you, for some reason needed to go back to the origin, you can click on that and it'll reset it back to the origin, zero, zero, zero for your pivot. I'm gonna go back to the bottom and frame it on here. And I wanna pull the axes straight out to the edge there. Let's double check our position here. And that looks fine-ish. I know it's down at the bottom because that's where it started with. All right, so then if I want to get really picky, I can adjust that to be just right into the, I'm looking right there at the Z axis. And once I'm done with that, I can hit accept. Now note, it does tell you that this is modifying the pivot point for the chair asset, wherever the chair asset will be used. And in this case, that would be possibly what I want. Every chair, I want to tip at that location. So I'm going to hit accept. And that is now the new pivot point for the chair asset. If I go into my props folder, find the chair. Let's pull out another case of the chair. Notice that its pivot point is now on the back as well. The pop-up mentioned if you do not want that on every single chair, you just want it on a particular chair, then you would want to make a duplicate of your uh, shape before you do that. So you could, you know, chair back pivot, however you want to manage that. Now, if you change it for that chair only, then it'll only work on that chair and your original chair will still have its center pivot. 
Another option you have with that pivot tool is say I have this statue, for example, and I want it to pivot in a particular uh, point on the object. If I go to the pivot tool, I can turn on this enable snap drag. And what this lets me do is now drag along the surface to try and find an exact, uh, basically it's finding all the vertex points on the shape and you can see it's aligning with the normal. If you don't want it to align with the normal, you can go ahead and flip that to ignore. Now when you drag, it's just gonna be aligned with the world. And you can find a point that you want, maybe the very top. You know, so totally up to you if you want it to you know, maintain normal orientation or not. So that is another way to set your pivot besides all the common bounding box options here. So if you want it just in the center, you can do that. If you want it at the bottom, you can do that and then accept if you like it. So that's just the quick tip of today. Uh, a couple things you can do with pivot points. Hey, by the way, if you're an artist, why don't you check out this video and see what you what think. You think it's is. pretty deep like and funny for a Lego coaster. stop motion. Uh, what I think it's actually supposed to be is a horse pulling a carriage. Oh. You gotta have that artist's eye, you see. Artist eye? Seeing it from their perspective. 